So. No, I don't think. Gotta be saying that in California, everybody's riding with a mask on. Actually, I, they might be. Anyway, we don't ride in Canada with a mask on. No, we just up and hand in the and barn and being around people. a little bit but he's not limping so we'll warm him up and see what we get if it doesn't go away then we'll stop we'll finish your ride on Finn oh god she needs a lesson on Finn really bad because she wants to ride him okay. well, Finn does not like that white horse there well that white horse jumps the fence can you swat at him Gabby Shoo him away. Okay. Finn just about took a chunk out of his head. Better Feels better now? Yeah. Penny feels better now. Oh, he's mad. He's, he's a, a strong horse. He jumps yeah, well, the fence. Finn would like to chop his face off with his teeth. He's just playful, like friendly, playful. He hops the fence and is in both fields now. Inside rain. I'm gonna remove it from your hand. Oh, I say do it. Do you know what I really think I should do to you? Put tape. What? Unattach your bridle from your bit. So that when you pull with one rein, your whole bit goes through his mouth and you have nothing to steer with. <laughs> You're not talking to Fiona? No, it's him. Oh. Because if you only have the bit and reins, you have to have equal pressure on both sides or your bit will go through his mouth. It's actually a really cool technique to actually have your bridle unattached and be able to do it. Pick up your feet, sir. <laughs> Did that horse scare yours? Did he scare you? No, he tried to challenge us. He was like shaking his head like, look at Change reins! Wouldn't it, wouldn't it be fun to throw her in those shavings? I want to jump in those shavings. Well, Gabby did it. It was rock hard. It was rock hard. Wouldn't be right now. They're fresh. Yeah. Yeah, it was empty. Yeah. Yeah, you would. You'd sink and be disappeared and inhale. The dust. We could ask Chino to eject you into them. He tries to save her, she says. So I didn't ride my horse outside in the road because it was really, really, really windy, like crazy windy, like tornado windy. Did you notice that yesterday? The tornado wind? Yeah, it was really windy yesterday. Not where you are? Uh, it was windy. Oh, ours was like crazy windy. Cubs warmed up. All right, fun, fun. All right, we have barrels. We have these jumps over here, and then we have this little cavaletti thing here. All right, ladies, let's trot on the right rein using the red and white poles, please. Trot on. Don't chase him. Don't chase him. So, you guys, we have a horse show. Watch that inside rain, Gabby. In two weeks. Not this weekend, but next weekend. I don't even know what I have to do. I can't even remember. Actually, it was quite a nice turn. Beautiful. Oh, I had zero pace, but we were just going. <laughs> Thank you. So loosen the inside two inches and shorten the outside two inches. 
You're turning the shoulders, not the head. That was absolutely gorgeous. He actually used his hindquarters. Push the shoulders. Keep him like a spit. Yes, he's a pole. For your bum feet to come into your legs. Hold that saddle right there. Yeah. Now stack your plates in your bowling ball. Lift your chest up. Stick to the pole around the corner, please. Outside. Much better. So when you have to push his shoulders around the corner, he has to come onto his hindquarters and use his motor. He doesn't like to use his motor. Close your leg when you go around the corners and elevate with your outside range. Again. Gabby, you may like to. That's it. Keep your legs steady, Gabby. Outside range. Still keeping him like a pole. Think about making the turn from the shoulder so he can use the core. Gets a little lazy going through the turns and he balances on your hands. You need to close your leg, send him up through the shoulders. It's not his head you want in frame, it's his body. You want his body to be like an upside down horseshoe. He needs to round up through the back, lift his withers, and then drop his head. If we just ask him to drop his head, he'll hollow his back. Outside leg, outside ring. More. Start now. Outside brain, outside leg. There. Yes, 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 yes. That was better. You had a couple strides of niceness there. Outside leg, yep. Yeah. Good. You may come back to full seat. Keep the balance in both reins. There, there, there. Did you feel him lift a little bit? Okay. So when he slowed down, he actually lifted his shoulders up. The saddle should feel like it's pushing in the, into your crotch. Elbows. Outside right. Outside line. There. There. Elevate. Beautiful. Go ahead and walk. Using your outside right. Yes. Sit and make the trot happen. Core. Every time you can. Tighten your core and lift that saddle off his back. Lift, 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 lift. Soften the elbow. Light seat to ah. Big half hole and drop him. Working trot. Soften the elbow, look up, stack your plates. You're leaning forward with your shoulders. There, that's better. And just quietly hold his mouth. He'll stay there if you keep your elbows working. And now you have a horse in frame, light on his front feet. Look at that. Look at that bouncy trot. Yes, that's exactly what you want. Bouncier the better. Stunning, stunning, stunning. Chin up, please. You're looking at his legs. You. Don't look down. Use your peripheral vision. You can see his head without looking down. In a minute. Breathe out. Have hold of your core. Let him go. Lead change. Back end. He's got to get quicker with the back end. He wants to give you the front and be very happy, but he doesn't want to give you the back. Breathing. Did you see him go Beside the last jump? He will definitely do the There you go. I am so happy with the use of your arena. No Big change, lessons. yeah. I should not stand Breathe. here. You're drifting. Good, you are kind of drifting. Straight line. Nicely ridden. Back to your trot. That was pretty. Line. Lovely. Keep the elbows working. Keep that big, bouncy, beautiful trot. Let's take a look. Keep it up. Elbows, 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 elbows. Yes, go. Nope. That's okay. You can go ahead and walk. That was gorgeous. Stunning. Mm. You're in. Look at the first pole. Ride to the first. Perfect. When you ride grid lines, as long as you get the first pole, the line will ride. You just have to let it happen. So your goal is to get to the first pole. Shorten, lengthen. You know how to do that. We've worked on that for the last two weeks. Look at the first pole. Get to it. One, two, three. Three, much better. Feel the difference? Yeah. When you ride a line at a horse show, it's the first jump. 
You treat that first jump like the first pull in a grid. You get that first pull, you get that first jump, the other one rides perfect. Get the pull. Good girl. Lead. Yes. Feel like I had to push him? Yeah. That's okay. So then you've got a short stride. I didn't lengthen this on purpose because I want you to be able to shorten and lengthen him. So you know going over that first jump, if you had to push for the first pull, you got to ease up over the first jump. One, two, perfect stride. Half pull. That was a little too much, Chino. Much better. Ride the diagonal, please. We're riding it and leg yielding over. Diagonal again. Outside, outside, outside. He's aboard. Jeez. There you go. Give him a pat. Come down the line one more time. The first pull in your canner. Elbows outside, 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 outside. Good. Pull, pull, pull. Excellent job. Excellent. Diagonal. Breathe. Good push. Diagonal and then barrel. Breathe. Good push. Look. Outside, 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 outside. <laughs> Start going. Go back to them. Oh, God. You're good. <laughs> Mom. Look. Back. I'm moving. Oh. Don't you know that you're beautiful?